Hey, I am back. I have taken about a year hiatus and I figured I would be coming back and the first video I'm going to be coming back and doing will be doing a video about muscle testing. Not sure if many of you know what muscle testing is. Well, muscle testing is your body's way of pretty much knowing what's going on inside of your body. It's all about energy. Um, we are so programmed so well that our body can pretty much say what's wrong, what's not wrong, just by asking yes and no questions. It's that simple. Yes, no. I've been doing muscle testing for... Hmm, I don't know how long I have not muscle tested. I've been going to muscle testers my whole entire life. So I have picked up the knack of muscle testing when I was probably a kid and have honed that skill throughout the last, I don't know, however old I am, years. So I figured since I love muscle testing so much and it is such a crucial part of my life that I would pass on my information to you. There's a lot of information, so this is not gonna all come all at one day, so I figured I would cut it down in segments. So today is just pretty much all the basic forms of muscle testing. Since there's so many different ways of muscle testing and something fits, one way of muscle testing always fits right for somebody else. So what works well for me might not be the best way that works well for you. So I figured I would go over all the different types of muscle testing that I have learned throughout the years and I would pass them on to you so that you can find which one works the best for you. So before we begin, um, you just need to ground yourself. Because if you don't ground yourself and get yourself into a good position, you're not going to muscle test accurately. Also, if you're not hydrated well, if you're not feeling well, you know, if you're not in a great state of mind, those are usually not the best times to muscle test. Um, so if you just ground yourself real quick, get hydrated, get yourself in a good spot, that would be the most optimum time to muscle test. So let's begin with um, the first one. This would be the yes, no. You would either hold your fingers like this because this is a very weak finger and this is not. So you would pretty much hold this together and a yes response would hold this and a no response would go through like that. So you would ask yourself a yes question starting with Show me yes, okay? See how strong my finger gets? Show me no. My finger goes through and I'm holding the same pressure for both things, for both slide throughs. Um, is my name Kelly? Is my name John? Okay, that simple. Um, the other way of doing it is holding your finger like this and asking it yes and no. Show me yes. See how strong my fingers are? Okay. Show me now. Show me now. See how weak my fingers get? So a positive would be very strong. That would be a yes. And a negative will be very weak. And that would be a no. Okay. Um, this method um, show, show me yes. See, show me now. My finger flicks like that. These are all different ways of muscle testing. Um, the sway method. Show me yes. Did you see how my body went forward? That's a yes. Show me now. See how my body went back that would be a no. So that would be the baseline to start muscle testing or applied kinesiology. Um, I use muscle testing 
to test myself, my son, my husband, my friends, my clients, um, anyone who needs to know what's going on. And I also pass this information on to people who need to know this because I think this is a crucial tool in getting to know your body because this really helps you get back to yourself because it really helps you trust your intuition. And this is something that is also needing to be practiced. So don't think that just because it's not something that you're catching on to real quick does not mean that you're unable to do this. It just means that you just need to practice. I've been doing this for so many years that this is just an innate thing that happens to be something that I do like as if I'm walking and talking. So this is my first video back. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe. Put a check yes. I like it. Or no, and if you don't, whatever. You don't have to like it. I don't care. So I hope you all have a great night and I'll be back showing you how to muscle test with other things. Um, food, herbs, animals, plants. You can muscle test anything that has energy. So start practicing and let me know how it works for you. And if I find any other methods that I come across, I'll be passing them on to you. Okay, I hope you have a great night. Thanks, bye.